It was a critical moment. Hitler in power, the far right on the rise in Europe. And in London, the British Union of Fascists planned a march through a Jewish community in East London. And Sir Oswald Mosley, black shirt leader, arrives at Royal Mint Street to inspect his followers. The government allowed the march. The Met Police told local people to stay away. They refused and made their stand on Cable Street. Altogether, 84 rioters are taken into custody while the police firmly prevent the battle from taking an uglier turn. Today, hundreds gathered to commemorate that day. In the mix, Muslim and Jewish groups alongside unions, socialists, anarchists and communists. They shall not pass. It was the rallying cry of the anti-fascist alliance 80 years ago. Then, 20,000 strong, they barricaded this street right here to stop Oswald Mosley and his black shirts from entering East London. 101-year-old Max Levitas was there in 1936. And did you see any of the black shirts? The ramp for the lives. It was a battle against the police. Well, that's when those things always happened, when you had demonstrations. Gloria Finley's late husband was one of the organisers. They tore up cobblestones, as they were in those days, and anything to stop the Muslims getting free passage. The battle went on all day long. Hundreds of people were arrested and thrown into the police prison cells. Nearby in Shoreditch, the London mayor joined the chief rabbi to speak out against racism. It's really important we are united in our quest to defeat anti-Semitism, racism, fascism, Islamophobia and all forms of hate crime. Within the Labour Party itself, there have been allegations of anti-Semitism by members. The recent Chakrabarti report highlights minority, hateful and ignorant attitudes. Well, the Labour Party, along with many other institutions, along with other political parties, have huge problems, not just with anti-Semitism and racism, but also with Islamophobia. These are national challenges. Back at Cable Street, Jeremy Corbyn faced his own struggle to leave the event, but one question did make him stop. Sorry, Mr Corbyn, do you think the Labour Party has its own problems with anti-Semitism? I think you should remember that Cable Street was an amazing exposition of people coming together in total unity to oppose racism in any form. Everyone here, me included, opposes racism racism in any form whatsoever in our society. 80 years ago, the anti-fascists won the day. Oswald Mosley abandoned his march and fascism didn't take hold in Britain.